Hey, while I was gone, did uh, did Microsoft and YouTube kiss and make up? <laughs> <laughs> sort of. <laughs> what what, so, what happened with that one? Last okay, so last we heard, Leo. <laughs> This, this story, I have, I'm have i going to have to consult notes because this story is convoluted. <laughs> it's very convoluted. Oh, no, so seriously, convoluted. Like the, it, it is crazy. Where I know I wrote about them. <laughs> All right, so no, I mean, this, this is like a story that spans the entire year. Okay. So last year. <laughs> At this time. <laughs> Google in December, they Google announced they were not going to ship any apps for Windows 8 no and Windows apps. Phone 8 beyond the, they said they, they, the one search app. Use the they, browser. They basically said, look, nobody uses these things. We're not doing it. Right. So that was sort of a weird little moment. But then a few months later, Microsoft released um, what I thought was an excellent and what they described as an official YouTube app for Windows Phone 8. Um, it had a couple of features that were kind of interesting. For example, there were no ads, which people really enjoyed. And you could actually download YouTube apps to your phone with the app, which is I, I didn't know at the time, but that's YouTube kind of an videos. Interesting. It's not done. It's not done. Yeah, right. Yeah. So uh, later in the month, at a, some I don't know if it was at Google I.O. or um, some event, uh, Google CEO Larry Page blamed Microsoft for the problems the two companies yeah. were having. And he alluded to the YouTube app when he said that Microsoft was taking advantage of interoperating with Google because they released this app that doesn't include the advertising functionality that Google builds into it into YouTube. But then Microsoft issued a public statement where they said, actually... Google refused to work with us on this app. And we, we wanted to put the advertising in, but they wouldn't tell us how to do it. And so now that Larry Page had come out and made this public statement, they said, we're really excited to hear they want to work with us. So here we are. We're, we're, we're uh, willing to, you know, let's, let's work on this together. So later in May, they updated the app to address Google's concerns. They didn't have the advertising, I don't think, right. in that version. No. But they did remove the ability to download the YouTube, yes. uh, right. download the videos. Right. So then Google publicly announced in a joint statement with Microsoft that they were going to work together to update the YouTube app. And everyone, oh, that's amazing. I think I referred to it as Glassnost. So in August, Microsoft released what they said was the Google approved version of the YouTube app, right. which does include in video advertising from Google. And then Google immediately blocked it because <laughs> Microsoft didn't base it on HTML5, which is apparently a requirement for YouTube mobile apps, despite the fact that no YouTube mobile apps use HTML5, <laughs> including Google's. <laughs> so since then, it's been blocked. And so this week, they released a new version of the Google, uh, of the YouTube app for Windows Phone 8. And oh. this version of the app is hilarious. <laughs> does it do? Because does it play video? When you run, no, when you run it, yeah. it launches Internet Explorer and navigates <laughs> to YouTube.com. <laughs> I am not joking. That's, That's all it does. does. It's yeah. a bookmark. <laughs> yep. But the other one, the, the last one before this was broken, right? So at least this Yeah, was. well, that's what I mean. They were no, they were blocking it. It worked when it first came out. Right. I, I, I downloaded it. I took screenshots of it. I made it an app pick. And then Google blocked it. Like, it all happened in, like, six hours. Wow. Yep. yep. Completely broken. So, <laughs> those two guys. It's, it's a little wacky. It's like the three stooges. Right. It's like Mo and Larry. <laughs> I, yeah.